take black, ready one with ready one with music. Take one with music. Ready two. Take two. Open mics and cue talent. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome Ready to open. Liberty Bubble. I'm your host, Daniel Nichols. We're open. Ready for cue. Cue talent. Tonight we have a very special guest on our show tonight. We've got uh, uh, someone fonts. from Thomas Road Sir Baptist fonts. Church. He graduated from Liberty as a worship Please major fight. and is serving as a member of the TRBC Ready, worship team. Please welcome Julian Kim. Take one. Music up. Ready, two. Take two. Fades music. Thank you, Tony. Thanks for being on our show, Julian. Ready, three, watch out, yeah, watch out your uh, head. Pleasure three. to be here. So Julian, Take three. tell us a little bit about yourself. Ready, where one. are you from and where did you grow up? Take one. Um, so I Ready, am point. from South Korea. I um, immigrated to the States Insert when point. I was four back in 99 uh, with my, fi uh, with my family. Point. And um, we settled Ready, down in, nor in the Northern two. Virginia area right outside of DC. And um, I just went through the school system there after I got, and then after I graduated um, high school, came down to Liberty to study music. Take two. Wow, that's, that's awesome. So what got you interested in music? Ready, um, one. So I grew up in a musical household. Take one. Um, I have a grandpa that uh, used to be a professor at a university teaching music. My dad was part of a band. My cousin um, also does music out in Ready Korea two. as a K-pop star. And... Um, so with that being said, I just grew up in a musical household, so that's kind of how I got into it as well. Take wow, two. it sounds like musical Ready talent three. runs in the family. Take three. So um, I, I just want to say up front, it's really a pleasure to meet you. And um, I'm sure you at home uh, would like to hear more about Julian. Ready but first, let's hear a word from our sponsors. With music. Take one bump with music, sorry. And ready, black. Fade to black. 30 seconds. All right, we'll be back on camera one with bumper. And yeah. All right, 10 seconds, ready, one, with music. Take one with music. Ready, two. Take two, open mics and cue talent. Welcome back 33. to Liberty Bubble. Today we have a great musician and worshiper with us, Julian. Take, take one. Julian, Sorry. I have some questions for you. How have you been doing with, like, music for the past several years? Like, y you've been doing it for quite a while, right? Yeah, yeah. Take two. Okay. So tell me, what does music mean to you? Ready, one. Uh, so music, to me, is, take is another language. Um, a lot of people learn different languages when they're in high school or when they go off to college. Um, whether that be like Spanish, uh, French, Korean, Japanese, Chinese, you know, there's all the different sorts of languages. But to me, music is also a language. It's a, it's a way to speak um, to my heart a little bit deeper, um, more than words can. And there was a lot of times in my life where um, God had used music to speak to me. And it's um, once you start pu putting a melody into words, they become, they become lyrics. It just it speaks to me a little bit deeper. Um, so ev even when I was younger in the Camera two, could life, you that's a how little bit I, um, tip was able up a little to, bit. you know, feel the presence of God and kind of, um, you. you know, I realized the power of music and what it has Ready to other two. people. Take two. And yeah, three. Uh, I mean, I, I totally agree with you. And I'm, I'm curious, you know, to hear Take more three. about it. Um, so when you're on the Ready, stage, one. I just want to get a picture in my mind. Well, like, what are you thinking about? Like, how does the music speak to you as you're as you're up there? Um, Take one. So way, so, so music is a way is another form of worship for me. It's another way of communicating with God, and through you know Ready, singing one. praises to you know the one and only Jesus. Um, he was able one. to reveal himself through me, especially um, when I was younger. There are so many times. Um, in my life where I felt like I was able to relate to the songs more than uh, a sermon would. 
and um, you know it's very uh, orthodox of people to you know come to Christ through either sermon or altar call but for mm -hmm. me um, he revealed himself okay. through music Eight and through one. that I was able to um, 32 you know find him and find the kind the gift that gifts that he has given me and to use that back to glorify Eight God two. Um, one thing that um, I'll never forget is the song Your Love Never Fails by Jesus Culture. And it's talking about how, uh, how his love never fails. There's no, nothing that we can do or what Three. we will do or what we have done that can separate us from what he has done. And that when Jesus said Three, on the what? cross that it is Two, finished, what? he meant that it is finished. It mm -hmm. doesn't mean that, um, you know, it's finished, but you're still trapped in this thing. No, like when he when he freed us, he freed us, and um, Three. I, I was able to really feel that through the music and just the lyrics that you know Jesus Culture wrote. Wow. Three. Well, I think that mas message is just super powerful, and um, your testimony too. I mean, it tells me a lot about Three, the places that the Lord has led you through in Three, your two. life. Um, and Three, you know, one. from what you told me about your family and your cousin and and your dad, like. There's a lot of musical talent in your family. <laughs> Take one. Um, Ready two. And Take uh, two. I would just like to ask you, kind of directly, how Ready do three. you plan to use that talent, that gift, Sorry, ready one. to glorify God? Take one. Um, so it's always been a dream of mine to do music. Um, it's I, I started music at a young age. Ready so it's, two. It was always a dream of mine to be able to lead worship, make music, and you know help people like me where, you know, I got saved through, you know, hearing songs of worship, Take that if, even if one person can hear my music and, you know, the lyrics that God has given to me, and, you know, that brings another person to Christ, that's really the main goal. Um, I've always wanted to lead worship ever since I was young, and to be 31. used as a vessel by God is not a right, right? It's, it's a privilege. It's not one of those Three, things two, where, where it's like, hey, I'm a phenomenal musician, I am a Christian, so I deserve to be on stage. No, Three, it's, it's not a right that you have, but it's a privilege that God gets to use a broken person like myself and to bring other Three, people two. to Christ and to, for him to use me as a vessel and as a bridge to lead his people into his throne is just a, is, is an awesome Ready privilege. Three. Um, so for me, it was never about the fame. Um, a lot of people Ready associate one. the stage with Take fame one. and being like, you know, he wants to make himself more known. But for Ready me, it was three. never, stepping on stage was never about the fame. It was about bringing more fame to the one that deserves it all. Take three. All right. I'd say for Christians, definitely the, you know, the need for Christ not like Ready this touches, two. you know, everywhere, you know, on yeah. the stage, in our own lives, you know, just doing what we do. Um, but, uh, and that leads me to something else. Uh, I heard that three. on Instagram, you've got 33,000 followers. That's, that's huge. 31, take one. Um, and I'd like to ask two. you, you take know, two. when you are st live streaming on Instagram, are you able to use your musical 31. talent to reach others with the gospel? Um, take so one. yeah, it's funny because I actually first started lives because I love Ready. talking to people. I'm a big Video extrovert. Three. So I just love, um, just meeting with other people, just conversing with them. Um, and um, in my lives, I have people all around the world joining. Um, you know, I have people from, you know, 31. Singapore, people from the Philippines, people in the States, people in Korea, China, you know, there's, a, you know, um, in the Middle East. I have, I have a very wide variety of um, people that come by. And so because of that, I was very shy to bring up the gospel. I felt like, okay, well, if I feel like if I mentioned Jesus, the numbers are going to shrink a little bit. Uh, the people that come by in the live is going to shrink. Um, and I, I got lost in the numbers. Mm. Um, but one thing I realized and I got convicted of is that eternity matters a lot more. It's not about, like, who cares if I have a platform here when my life here is so short? Um, and, you know, another thing I realized is that no matter what I do, it's like, if it goes well, it'll last about a year or a couple of years, but it's not going to last an eternity. Mm. But two. the gospel, um, when you bring that, truth to someone that hasn't heard it before that can go for forever that can go that can last into eternity and um to have a platform you know 31. having thirty three thousand some followers is not um you know a Take privilege one. that not everyone has but for god to give me a platform like that and for me to not use it to spread the gospel it sounds pointless to me um so through that i was able to um start doing um Temp you know lives leading worship okay. just sharing the gospel I uh, just reading the Bible, um, and you know I've had an, an amazing outcome where people, take one. Um, I'm sorry, even take from two. communist countries, are like, "Hey, um, I don't have the privilege of looking up a worship song 
in YouTube, but through your lives, I'm able to come and you know sing songs of worship, and three. you know people are like, "Hey, I come from a Muslim background. Um, I'll get disowned if I believe in Christ." Mm. Um, but I don't, I don't know what to do and things like that. So it, it really awakens me and opened up my eyes to a lot of things. Wow. Take three. Well, I definitely think, you know, what you're talking Three-two. about takes a lot of humility. Um, and I don't think a lot of people actually realize the, Two-two. you know, responsibility that comes with being like a, an influencer, you know, and, and the kind of impact that uh, your testimony online can have uh, on like Facebook or Instagram or whatever Two-three. it is. Right. Um, and most of the time when I go on Instagram, you just see all of these people, you know, parading themselves Three, around like celebrities, and you know, they're they're all, Take two. you know, hey everyone, look at me, look at me. But uh, for you, you know, you're you're showing people, hey, there's give him the way. Um, you know, you, give him you the wrap up signal for the you last know, question. Take from the focus, could you go you know, to the last on yourself question and put it on Christ? And I think that's awesome. And ready? Three. Um, well, we're running out of time, um, but three. there's one last thing I'd like one. to ask uh, from you. Would you? Be willing to sing Take a song one. for us? Yeah, I would love to. Ready um, two? It'd be an honor, pretty Take two. privilege for And me, for one, sure. ready well, for I'm sure, the you know, bumper. There's a lot of songs that you could choose, uh, but is there one that really carries a special meaning for you? Give him uh, the wrap up single. It, um, I, song, like, I chose yeah. a song, Yes I Will, and I, I chose that because and it's ready. a song about how we're when we're in the ready lowest one. of the lows and the darkest valleys that we're choosing to say yes. And I think um, having that kind of spirit is awesome. Um, and to be able to praise God even in the valleys is an amazing thing and can be a testimony in itself. So that's kind of why I chose the song. Yeah, ready, three, take three. Go from uh, Q Talent. In a minute, we're going to hear Julian <laughs> ready uh, one sing for bumper us. But first, with music. we'll uh, have take a one with music. commercial break and we'll be right back. And ready, black, ready to black. 30 seconds. Um, just let them know we have only 30, uh, no, sorry, 3 minutes, 20 seconds, 15 seconds. We are coming on camera 3, bumper, with music. Ready, 3, with music. Take 3, with music. Ready, 1, take 1. Open mics, open mics. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Julian Kim. And ready, camera two, take two. Camera three, ready, camera three. Ready, one, take I one. I count on one thing. The same God ready, that never fails will not fail me now. Take three. You won't fail me now. Ready, two. In the way I like that zoom in, too. The same right, God who's Take never two. late is working Ready, all one. things out. Okay, could you close the uh, yeah, thing? Take one. Oh, yes, I will. Ready, three. With you, I, in the lowest valleys. Yes, I will. Bless your name. Josh, are you ready to zoom out? Oh, yeah. And ready to sing for and joy take two. when my heart is ready heavy one. all my days. Oh yes, take I one. will. And ready three. Take three. I love it, Kate. Thank you. And ready two. And take two. I count on one thing. Ready one. The same God that never fails. Will not fail me now. You won't fail me Take now. Take one. In the waiting. The same God who's never late is working all things out. Take three. You're working all things out. Oh, Thirty yes, two. Thirty for zoom out. And take two. Thirty one. Okay, you can move to the right hand, I mean left hand on. And ready, uh, take one. Uh, give him that signal for we have only one minute and 20 seconds. And ready two, for, ready for zooming, and take two. And ready three. And take three. 
Take one. Ready, two. One minute signal. And take two. Ready, three. Take three. We're at 45 seconds. Um, ready, one. Take one. Give him a wrap up signal. And ready, two. Take two. And ready, get ready, um, Daniel. With camera one. And take ready, one. And take one. 20 seconds, wrap up quickly. Oh, wow, thank you, Julian. Yeah, thanks for having me. Music up. And uh, for all the viewers out there, ready, copyright. Have a night. God bless. And ready, three. Take three. And copy, insert copyright. Ready, black. Way to black. Thank you guys. Good job.